Radical. The Winged Avenger. Mountain Dew is the worst soft drink for human health. Yeah, I've heard this. Uh, a close second might be Sundrop. It's pretty close. But when it comes to Mountain Dew Sundrop, those are some of the worst things you can ingest. You know, they are not healthy. Like, when it comes to some of those drinks, I think about how you can use those drinks to, you know, get off battery acid. So why would anybody actually actively want to put that into their body? People need to more, be more specific if they care about their body, what they actually put in their body. Blade Brown. I think the year when Three Stooges on the NES came out was the absolute greatest year in gaming. That game really blew me away as far as open world games are concerned. It was very open world. I've seen gameplay. I can't, I can't respond to its greatness. But it's about half an hour where you run left and right. And then you get to run left again. And then you get to run right. And then the world opens up. And then you actually get to take Curly and uh, have a soup cracker eating contest. And you know what? He makes some really scary sounds. There's some scary sounds Curly makes when he's eating that soup. Warehouse Dave. I appreciate you introducing me to Nero's Reaching Out. It's now one of my favorites. I'm trying to get some work done and I'm burned out with all my music. Any suggestions within the genre of trim? I made that genre up, but I think you know what I mean. Well, here's a topic I never get tired of discussing. You know, trim. Uh, depends on what you would like. If you're going for something short term, then you know you want to go you want to go for a girl that's kind of easy someone that's kind of easy specifically maybe not that intelligent right if you're going for something short term or a fling now it's the opposite if you want to go for somebody that's going to be possibly a lifelong partner you want to go for somebody that you know is smart that you can have discussions with you don't want to bimbo you know you if you're going to be with somebody the rest of your life cuz you know when you get old and gray all you're going to be left with is the conversations, right? And someone that is not uh, loose, right? Because you don't want somebody that's going to cheat on you once you marry them. So it just depends on kind of what you want at the time, I would say. Toxin. Nobody gave two shits about retro games until James Rolfe came in and the Game Chasers put the final nail in the coffin. You could grab Sonic 2 Complete literally anywhere for $10 prior to 2006. Now they sell Super Mario 64 for thousands of dollars. Yeah, Super Mario 64, how much did that go for? It went for a lot of money. A lot of money. Could you imagine this excitement around these games before the explosion of YouTube and retro gamers? People just did not care. They threw away the manuals in the boxes. Now could you imagine people actually doing that? You know, if, well, the consoles actually had manuals and everything. But, yeah, a lot of people look at it in a way, well, this is a great thing because it means these games should be treasured and valued. And some people are looking at it like, dude, I just want to play fucking Sonic 2. I just want to play it. I just don't want to have to play the, the ROM. The ROM might be glitchy, you know. I just want to play the actual game on actual hardware. Yeah, fucking good luck with that. Thanks to the explosion. Thanks to the explosion of a lot of these retro gaming channels. Ben Kaiser. Anyone else noticing this trend of YouTubers and their endless polls? It's always about something stupid. What is Nintendo coming out with the Switch Pro? What is the next Nintendo Direct? What IP is Nintendo coming out with in 2022? More clickbait madness. I would wager a guess that many of these channels actually don't care about these polls. I don't know why they even do it. Uh, when is next Nintendo's Direct? Like, are there actually people that are, you know, losing their minds over when the next Direct is? I don't know. Like, I'm not in the mind of one of these loser gamers that have nothing in their lives whatsoever to care about other than Nintendo products. I'm not in that mind. But, yeah, when it comes to the polls, I I don't know. Yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't noticed a trend I guess they're on people's community tabs. I never really go to the community tabs. <sighs> Fake Viper. Radical Rick. Can do can do any more Alpha Omega Sin videos. 
uh, let's see. Well, I could. I could do anything. I could talk about anything I kind of want to. But here's a perfect example of something that really, essentially, there's really nothing else to say. There's nothing interesting for me to say about Alpha Omega Sin anymore. Like, not anything. Absolutely fucking nothing. Like, I've covered this individual up, down, and sideways. So, essentially, I wonder what the point would be unless something of interest happened around Alpha Omega Sin. What would the point be in doing more? I don't understand. Mr. T-Bone SF. So much for OEB. One more delay and I'm done with the Amico Pete. Tommy thanked him for not having a spine. Did he actually say that? Did he actually say that? You know, one more delay and he's done? I think he's got a lot of delays left before he's done. I think there's about 15 more delays before Pete is done. You know? Yeah, Pete. I mean, come on now. Come on, Pete. Really? Really? You that excited over the Amico? Why? There's, there's no reason to be. Doesn't he have physical media, Pete? Come on. Come on. Come around. Come around. See it for what it actually is. And uh, invest your money into other things. Is my advice. Sinister Moon. I'm still not giving up on it. I'll let everyone know exactly how it is once I get it. Well, you're talking about the Amico. I'll say the same thing to you that I said to Pete. Come on now. Come on. Isn't there other things you could spend your money on? Then the Intellivision Amico. This is a, a. I had a hilarious response. I thought it was hilarious because I equated this to an STD. You know, I'll let everyone know exactly how it is once I get it. You know, does anybody have herpes? Anyone want to share what herpes is like? Joshua Snyder. The GIF will be a merch voucher for Intellivision store. Cheap publicity with backers as billboards. Hashtag shillboards. Well, no, it was not a merch voucher. That would have been nicer than what actually ultimately uh, was given. You know, it's uh, just Tommy Tallarico's music. Some of his old music, right? But a merch would be a lot, lot nicer. Would be a lot nicer. I mean, not very nice, but still, I mean, something. Like, literally something. CPE1704 TKS. For the love of Pete! No, 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 no. It's for Pete's, Pete's sake, Right? For the love of, for the love of Pete, no, you know, for Pete's sake, that's that's what Pete should say every time there's an Amico delay. He start the video, come on now, for Pete's sake. To Drusus, watched the game with my son last night. Really nice cherry on top of his 13th birthday to watch Team USA get gold. Tell you what though, most of the roster was trying to give it away, but Katie wasn't having it. Yes, I appreciate. Kevin Durant for actually representing it and making sure that we got that shiny gold medal. You know, no thanks to fucking Damian Lillard. You know, what a disgrace that would be. You know, Damian Lillard, don't even, don't even come back to America. If you miss those two free throws and that costs the game, you know, fuck that. You know, how dare you? How dare you? Against France. Hey, you can miss free throws in your nothing Portland Trailblazer games, but not on that grand stage. Not on that grand stage. Bowls EG. They sending special F you to all who pre-order Amico. They knew it long before that October is too optimistic, but they enabled pre-orders. Because they running out of money. Yeah. I mean, how could you not know? You're that company. How could you not know that that was way too optimistic? But they enabled pre-orders. They enabled pre-orders knowing damn well. And they're not the only ones that have done it, you know? I mean, look at all these game delays for, you know, certain games like Cyberpunk 2077. But it's really shady when companies do this because you're trying to keep the hype up, allowing pre-orders. Don't allow pre-orders unless you know your product is actually going to ship. And one of those, uh, one of those reasons was the chip shortage. But wait, wait, wait. Didn't Tommy Tellerico say that he had all the components? Mm, inconvenient. The Winged Avenger. Now this is satire. Sat satire? Now this is satire. It would be kind of funny if somebody made a meme of Tommy Tellerico, you know, uh, and a random maybe Amico hater, just kind of like kicking an Amico hater down a well, you know, like 300. 
and he's just yelling, This is Amico! Warehouse Dave. Reggie has an expensive appetite. I can make out the game he's eating in the thumbnail, and it's a $250 Adventures of Lomax. That's bed frame money. Just think about all these games that he has that would pay for a bed frame. It's when you don't have a problem. That's when you know you have a problem, ladies and gentlemen, when you would rather spend two or fifty dollars on Adventures of Lomax than a bed frame. Spyro Marathon. No game can just be bought and enjoyed anymore, and it just sucks the joy out of the experience. Why spend money on a game that's always trying to sell you on the next expansion or DLC pack? It's dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, how about Mortal Kombat, huh? I don't, I don't know. I just had to bring up some game that seemed, like, dangerous. I was talking with a friend about uh, that, about, uh, let's say, all the DC, DLC characters in Mortal Kombat. I think, was it the latest one that had the Predator, Freddy Krueger, Rambo, Terminator? Like, you see the game and you see gameplay, and you're like, okay, which game am I getting? There was a time, believe it or not, where if you saw footage from a video game, that was the entire actual video game, right? So, yeah, I tend to care about getting the games once they have their complete ultimate super duper platinum special edition that has all the stuff already. So when a game comes out, no, it's really not out yet. It's, it's not complete until you actually get the complete version. Vic Viper. ROMs suck. ROMs suck? What do you mean, like, sometimes you download a ROM and then it doesn't play uh, very well? I get that, yeah. I have that issue sometimes. But you said ROMs suck? Like, what are you, Pat the Nest Punk? Come on now. ROMs suck. So, Vic, exactly what are people supposed to do if they want to play Flintstones at Dinosaur Peak or Little Samson? Are they supposed to actually spend their real money paying for these, paying, overpaying for these games? No, you're wrong. ROMs don't suck, Vic Viper. ROMs are great. Phallic Idol. Nothing will be the Amico. I hope it gets that fucking duck game. Nothing will be the Amico. Um, yeah, I guess we could all agree on that. Nothing will be like the Amico. Nothing has been like the Amico console-wise. In relation to the lights, there has never been that many lights on a console. Man, it's got some lights. And you said you hope it gets that fucking duck game. Wait, this is the first time hearing of this. The Amico's gonna have a fucking duck game? A game where you fuck ducks. What the fuck? A fucking duck game? What the fuck? You know? I think that this is clearly against the original goal of the Amico. Okay, that's shocking to me. There are certain things, there are certain games on the Amico people have looked at and said, well, I don't know if that's really kid-friendly. I mean, you know, uh, tanks shooting each other tanks and, and this and that. But no, this is clearly out of line. Okay? Clearly out of line. No, I say no to fucking ducks on the Amico.